Welcome to Emacs Rocks, episode 4. Today, I'll go all controversial on you and rebind some Emacs keys. That's what Emacs is all about, isn't it? Sharpening that knife. But first, a cool set of keystrokes. I'm switching to Buster.js for my JavaScript tests these days, and the syntax is slightly different. Watch how quickly I can go from one to the other. Done. Ha! Did you see the first keystroke? CS is excellent for navigating, but for short distances it's suboptimal. Watch this. I have to press enter to exit from the search to start typing. So let Wim show the way with its excellent F command. Move to char. There's an extension called IY go to char that does much the same. I mapped it to meta M, as in move. Yes, that keystroke is usually back to indentation, but I find a much better mnemonic for that is meta I. So meta M T and I can press period right away. Command L for lowercase, which conveniently moves my cursor to to the end of the word. Forward and transpose word. We had transpose line and transpose char in the previous episode. So this is transpose word. Nice, huh? So, I, Y, go to char. You can just Google it. It's really nice. Um, you don't have to bind it to the same key as me if you find that controversial. Um, I see that the suggested keystroke is uh, control C, F. Since it's supposed to be a short command for quick navigation, I want to have it on one keystroke. Let's take a look at another example. Here's a misspell word and another. So to quickly fix those, I press meta M P E, meta M O and O again, T. Very nice. That was episode four. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.